we have a key, we have some buttons, and we have that. Well, I think we know what this video is going to be about. So yes, this is a, another key replacement button thingamajigmy um, video for a Nissan Micra K12. So this is the uh, girlfriend's car key, I should say technically as a car key. Uh, the car unfortunately, after I'd ordered all these bits, failed the MOT miserably and is basically going to be scrapped. But I thought I've got the bits. This remote is really dodgy, so I know it's going for scrap, but let's replace it anyway and get a video out of it. So, one problem with this key is the blade is bent. I'm not too worried about that because it has been scrapped. Otherwise, I would probably try to straighten it out. This kit comes with a blade um, to be cut, but as far as I can ascertain, I think we can just swap blades. Hopefully, uh, that shouldn't be an issue. The screw has been mullered, so we are going to drill that out to start with, get this thing open, and then we'll get the board out, get the blade out, take off the old two buttons and replace them with the ones in the packet here. And fingers crossed, we'll get this one working a lot better and then it can go off to scrap. So let's just uh, get the old drill out and uh, we get this out. Now if you see a cat in the video, I do apologise. See, there we are. Righto. So yes, that's Milo, and uh, he will say hi at some point, I'm sure. Not just a ball of fur in the video. So um, yeah, we've got new kittens. We've got Milo and Shadow. So come along, Milo. You can say hi in the later video. So yeah, carry on with drilling this one out. If we can get this uh, this opened up. Right, I'll be back when that's done. All right, I think I've got that drilled out enough to hopefully get this to uh, spudge it open. Right, okay, so that's that out. That's the uh, battery in the back, so we'll keep that safe. So we have here our circuit board. Okay, so that's what we need to replace. Now this key, I'm hoping this blade will come out, but I'm not too sure now. I did make the assumption that when, it's, um, when it came with a separate blade, I thought, yeah, most likely this blade is removable. I am starting to uh, question that a little bit now. Okay, I'm just going to do a little bit of investigation. I want to see. I don't know because this screw is going through it, so I'm wondering if you take that screw out, will the blade drop out? Because if you look at the new blade, you've got a hole there, so that does indicate that the screw goes through and anchors the blade in as well. So. I think what we'll try and do is try and get enough grip on that to uh, turn it. I don't think I can with this. All right, let me uh, go and get some tools. All right, I have had a go with that, and um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get it out by trying to grip it. So when we say tools, we mean Dremel bit on the end of a drill because uh, I need to get some new uh, bits of the Dremel to uh, fix it up. So let's see if we can cut this plastic out. Hopefully, I think if we do that both sides, we should be able to get this to uh, free itself up.
All right, I'll say we're through there, so I'm hoping. Let me pry up this middle bit. Get that out of the equation. Okay, so it looks like this is threaded directly into the uh, the key blade here, so that will need to be addressed. I think we're gonna have to cut a little bit on the uh, outside. Definitely doesn't want to play nicely. Okay, there we go. All right, it's certainly a slightly different blade design, so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that we can uh, get that in the new one. Otherwise, we're going to be stuck because there's no point paying to get a key cut for this. So we will have to modify it to fit. So this is our threaded screw. So hopefully, I can get that out now. I don't know, but I think it's pretty much just rusted in there. Yeah, that is just rounding right off. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we will use the Dremel to cut the two ends of the thread off and then I will drill that hole out and I'll be back when that's done. All right, so I went ahead and used this to cut the uh, one of the ends of the threads off, but luckily that heated it enough um, so I did start trying to drill, but it's going very off-center. So it heated up just enough that I could loosen that thread. And that's good because I didn't want to damage the threads in here by getting that uh, little screw out. So that saves me re-tapping it. So the question is going to be, can we make it fit into this case or not? Fingers crossed. We can do some modifications. So let's have a look how this works. So that's our screw there. It looks like it pushes in and locks in like that. So can we get this to push in here? Might be lucky I think we just have to look at the uh, width for these two yeah the profiles width are the same just the profiles are different so I think this should be okay looking at that there I've got the depth in it so I think if we uh, basically force this a little bit I think it will go in damaged the uh, this one too much I'm looking at where these uh, notches in this one line up in respect to the old key so we're looking at possibly needing to file off I think we need to file some of this down either side and then try and get that to a similar profile to that one there some amount of filing later and yes this doesn't look anything like the uh, original profile but uh, yeah there's some inconsistencies in holes so I've had to file the back of it kind of got this bit more or less as I wanted it then I had to file the back so but we do now have a blaze that will fit in the new case and lines up pretty well with the uh, screw thread so step one done so we can put that to the side and we will work on this circuit board so I suspect these buttons are being bad they probably could be cleaned but um, yeah I'm not gonna bother with that I'm just gonna get these uh, desoldered and uh, put some new ones on so let me get you set up 
why not move your prototype from breadboard to PCB? With PCB Way, you can get your boards made in as little as 24 hours, with prices starting from just $5 for 10 boards. From standard FR4 to flex rigid, PCB Way has you covered. Want to save more? Check out their ongoing Christmas promotions. With a vast selection of coupons, you're sure to find an offer that suits your requirements. Links in the description below. Okay, the iron is up to temperature, so let's. Uh, I think what we'll do is we're going to get a bit of fresh solder on these joints just to aid in removal. Okay, so we've got this one pretty much free. There we are, spudgers wedged underneath. That should now pop off just like so. So, easy as that for that one. This one might be slightly more awkward. Just because of location, but we can. Uh, I mean, I could take these off with hot air. That would be one option, but um, yeah, I'm just going to try and uh, see if we can attack it from this side. Move it out. Damaging any other parts. Now that side I didn't actually reflow any solder on this one, but uh, yeah, it seems to be seems to come off nice and easily. So I'm just going to give these pads a little bit of a clean up, and then we should be able to get the uh, the new one on. So let's have a look. Now although I've got a desoldering gun. Um, these sort of things are much better just with a solder wick and just a bit of manual uh, maneuvering the parts off. Yeah, I think that should do nicely. So now it's just a case of uh, popping the new ones on. So let's uh, get these out of the bag. Alright, so just getting those two out so we don't want to muddle them up, so we'll remove any of the old ones out of the way and we'll uh, simply place it. On there, add a bit of solder and then we can manoeuvre it um, into the final position afterwards. So do is just just going to get some solder on the uh, pad there. Sorry, getting shot, and then we will simply maneuver it in place. Looks reasonably okay. Touch up the other side, and uh, and we just go back to the first side, which just uh, helps ensure that we've got a good joint on both sides. I'm not going to focus because I'm zoomed in quite high, but anyway, yeah, so that one seems to be on okay. Um, could be slightly better, but I'm not too. I'll just touch up this uh, side here a little bit. So we're not worried because it's going off for scraps. So what we'll do is we'll add a drop of solder on this pad. We should just be able to get this one manoeuvred in as well. Okay, let's have a look. How are we doing for alignment? Slightly off, so I'm just going to try and centre this up a little bit. Sorry if this is off camera. centered up a bit more now so we just uh, get this side on okay 
have created a little bridge there, so we just uh, wick that bit off, otherwise we're going to end up with short. I'm just going to look at that because I ended up getting solder on these capacitors here. I think they're supposed to be, I think they're joined, but uh, yeah, just trying to double check, so bear with me. Okay, final inspection. I think we are good to go with that. I think, so I'm still not 100% sure on if those caps are supposed to be bridged or not, but. Uh, I expect they are. I think I'm just going to try and wick a little bit more solder off these uh, caps that I got it on, and uh, then we'll uh, come back and uh, finish the rest of it. Okay, I'm quietly confident that that's going to be all right. Um, I'm pretty sure it will be, but uh, we'll have to test it and see. So we shall pop the uh, plastic insert back into this. Fob. So we've got a key blade in there, and sorry, off camera. So hopefully, we can come on, cat. Sorry, out the way, shadow. All right, so I believe that goes in like that, <coughs> and uh, hopefully, they click. Yeah, yeah. And then we need the battery to go in the new back, so clip that in like so. Then these two halves should make together. And I'm aware this key is not going to be as good as um, having the original, the sort of new blade in it cut, but uh, hopefully it will be good enough just to uh, get it working. Right, I'm just going to go and double check that works, and then we'll finish up. Okay, I can confirm that that unlocks and locks perfectly now, and uh, yep, still starts the car, so no problems at all. So yes, I could straighten out the blade, but there's no point. So if you need to replace one of these buttons-wise and keep the old shell, then pretty straightforward. If you need to replace it, but ideally don't want to go to the expense of getting a blank cut, then yes, it is possible to make the old blank fit, but it's a pain in the neck. So it's up to you. If you've got the skills to uh, do a bit of filing, trial and error, eventually you'll get it in there. Um, if not, then you'll need to just take your existing blank and uh, yeah, sorry, new blank, take that, get that cut, and uh, then it will fit straight in. So there we are. I hope you liked that video, guys. It was gonna be a nice and quick one. Um, Maybe a little longer than I hoped, but uh, these things always are. But uh, yeah, should be quickish for you. And uh, yeah, maybe about an hour of my time just to do a bit of filing. So there we are. Anyway, I'll catch you soon for the next one. Please like, share, subscribe, and uh, check out my Patreon links below to help support this channel.